Welcome to another Reality Check VR video. Today I wanted to jump into Unity one more time just so I could show you guys some more basics with the assets. Now I know that there's at least a few of you guys that clicked on this video because you might be bored and you're not really sure what to do. Basically I'm creating this video right now to show you how easy it actually is to begin a project in Unity and how cool it can be. And if you're somebody like me who doesn't have a whole lot of coding experience, you have these wonderful scenes and assets, prefabs that are already created, these wonderful little packages with scripts and code already built into them so you can look at them and just kind of view it and see how things work. It really helps me understand things and, and get things going my own way. Let's get started. Just in case you don't know this, Unity is a free program for anybody to use. Unless, of course, you're a big business making a lot of money, then you can pay them. So you open up Unity 5.1, and you'll see that there's a thing called the Standard Assets Example Project. We'll click on that and let it load. It might take a little while. If it's the first time you've run this, it might take some time loading all the assets. If you were to begin a new project and import these assets separately, you would just have the prefab files, not necessarily the scenes. The scenes are what I'm going to show you today, which all they are are little areas that have the prefabs put into them already. We can go over that more later. Okay, simply double clicking on the 2D character scene, it loads the scene in here, and I can uh, look around it with my camera. I can see that it is just a 2D scene with a little character there. If I hit the play button, we can already pick up our Xbox controller and begin playing and wow what a fun game it is. The best thing we can do is click on edit, project settings, player, and right over here where it says virtual reality supported, we click that, hit apply. Now I have not added any Oculus SDK to my project, none at all. All I've done is install the newest runtime, which is 0 0.60... 0 0.6.0.0, I believe. If you have the newest runtime installed, just have your Oculus sitting here on standby. Here in Unity 5.1, once you have the virtual reality enabled, you can sit there and put on the scenes and play through 2D like this. <laughs> The aircraft jet, which is by far one of the coolest things they've got going on here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We are flying, dude. Whoa, no, don't go that way. Whoa, it looks like I hit the ground. I mean, something as simple as this scene right here. The jet and the particle effects look cooler than most things I've seen in VR already and the lighting is just good and there's there's no textures on this object yet you know this is an object completely without textures or anything um, so it just shows you what you can do just from a, a noob standpoint you can begin a project just like this put your own model in there begin looking at the hierarchy and see how they kind of put it together and then begin building your own project all right we're gonna drive the car around a little bit I like driving the car yep driving the car around all right we're gonna see if we can do the loop-de-loop -loop, all right we're gonna see if we can do the loop-de-loop and one thing that the new Unity has, I can tell already, is they've got this uh, blur depth of field thing going on, which just, it looks great. It helps graphically, and it just looks awesome. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I didn't quite make it. Oh, well, I, this gravity's interesting. But, <laughs> it's just... Oh, this would be so much fun playing this with friends. Yeah, see, if you could just jump in here, take a car, and make a simple multiplayer game where you can run around a track and run into each other, you know? We're really, really needing... We're really, really needing that VR Mario Kart, you know? VR Mario Kart. Just saying. You can do character first person, right? First person character, no body, maybe? Yeah, it's like first person, no body. Okay, well, I'm gonna jump out of that one. Right here, we've got uh, a scene provided that gives us third person. Yep, yep, there he is, there's Ethan. Hey, Ethan, what you doing? You gonna, you gonna jump up on top of that? No, you gonna jump, no, you gonna jump up on top? You know what, he can't, He's his jump is too small for that. Oh, no, maybe not. But if you're, if you're walking, his jump is too small for that. You know what we do there? We click on his third-person controller, the thing that controls him. We go over here to the jump power, 
and we'll take that from six and let's make it 20. Yeah, dude. Now let's see how you can jump. Now let's see how you can jump, buddy. Woo! Yeah. Look at him go. Look at him. Woo! Yeah. Woo! <laughs> oh, look at that gap. Woo! It ain't no problem. It ain't no thing with the 20 foot jump. Woo! 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 Yeah. Oh. That was pretty sweet. All right. Bye, Ethan. Bye, buddy. It doesn't look at all the same to me as it does to you. I see everything perfect scale. It looks great. Got to do the rollerball. Got to do the rollerball. <laughs> oh, yes. Like my original favorite Sega game. Somebody needs to recreate my Sega games. Whoa. And, of course, if you move the mouse, sometimes it's the way to... Oh no. Oh no, ball, you're going too fast? You're going too fast? That's the wrong way! It's the wrong way, ball! It's the wrong way! Ah! Okay, nope, they're still ground. That's nice. Everything looks really solid. I mean, everything looks very solid. It runs very smooth in there. I can't describe how, how smooth and how good it feels actually being in the Unity atmosphere. This right here is something that I think is really sweet. I can't see my mouse pointer while I have the headset on, so I have to kind of guess. But this is one of those click to blow up things, particles. And you could do so many fun things in VR with this. Boom! Boom. I, I can like hit m the same object multiple times and yeah. I mean just being able to like sit in VR and let's say even use your hands or just be able to you know, blow stuff up. <laughs> with friends or in multiplayer with 3d spatial awareness is so much different than doing it on a 2d screen I mean the fact that I can see these things I could run around them hit them from different angles and kind of you know just <sighs> Blows my mind Anyhow, that's it. That's all I've got I just wanted to show you some of the scenes that were available in unity 5.1 the ones that were given to us for free They did not have these in unity 4 they had a few scenes and they had a few prefabs, but they were not nearly as good and as well thought out as these ones are. These ones really make it easy for new developers to jump in um, and get something very creative started. It allows us to take what's in our minds and put it out there um, without having to spend so much time on the internet. And if you do have more questions or you want to find out answers quickly, I know that Unity has a Wikipedia page that is very, very detailed, um, as well as there's a lot of videos. So. Um, if you have a specific question for me or would like me to show you something, I can hopefully uh, spit out a quick video and, and get you something uh, quick. I do appreciate you making the click and having a watch. Hopefully I'll be able to put up some more videos soon. Till next time.